Okay, my friends, today's March 17th, St. Patty's Day, 2023. We're going on a job to put in these switching valves for a 427R, upper and lower valves here. So we have our nitrogen tank, we have our soldering equipment, we have our recovery system and our basic tools. So we will see you there. There is no gas in here. <clears throat> I'm putting this valve on the high side here to see if there's any freon in here. If there's no freon in here, then we may have to go take the check the evaporators. There's no gate. There's no gas in here, so it's probably not the switching valves probably an evaporator. Okay. may have to pressurize this with nitrogen. Let's take the bottom out. This evaporator has been replaced. This is a new evaporator. Okay. And that's the old one. And we did bring one with us. So, let's guess. You see some burn marks here. We're going to pressurize it with nitrogen. See if we can find the leak. See where that's coming from. You can hear it.
Oh shit. I'm running out of nitrogen. Ah, boy. Okay, so I ran out of nitrogen. I did find a leak underneath. I can hear it coming out, but I wasn't able to pinpoint it. So I'm gonna run back to the shop and have to, I'll have to use compressed air because I don't have any more nitrogen and it's a long ride to get another tank. So uh, we'll get that hooked up and see if we can pinpoint that leak and I'll get back to you. It is right there. Okay. Okay. I don't have a dual filter dryer here for this, so we're going to have to make do with the old one. Okay, so this is holding pressure. That's good. Let's see how much freon this thing takes.
Okay, the wine system takes four and a half ounces of 134A. And whenever you open up in a system, you're supposed to change the filter dryer. But I don't have one, so I'm going to put a deep vacuum on the system in case any moisture got in there. You see, this filter dryer has two inlets for the, each valve. <clears throat> now, technically, you're supposed to change the dryer, but on the other note, whoever changed this uh, evaporator coil. Uh, never change the dryer because this is the original dryer so you, you can get away with it you're not supposed to it's not really the right way to do it but sometimes when you're in a pickle you don't have a choice and the customers told me they just wanted this to last another year or two because they were going to get a new one it's 20 years old so that's what we're doing we'll let this run for about a half an hour and then we'll uh, charge it up okay so here on this charging column we're using the R22 scale but I have these little graduations here to show the level of R134A so right here that's one ounce that's two ounces that's three ounces that's four ounces so four and a half ounces is going to be right around here okay so let's fill this up Uh, I would say um, since 1966 I started. And were you still just doing sub zero then? No, I was only doing sub zeros. I started doing sub zeros. Well, I was always working on sub zeros since I was a kid. But, but, but when I was young, um, they only had, they didn't have these machines. They Sub zero was just coming into. You know they're prime and they used to be called chambers remember the old chamber stoves oh yeah well they had a refrigerator that had the units down on the bottom and sub-zero the, the owner uh, bought them out and then that's when he started making these built-in units and they flourish you now it's a billion dollar company yeah now. i was gonna say it's <coughs> you know to strive for if they can afford it, right? You know, it's a status symbol. Well, do you feel that they're made, though? They are made you know? well. They are. There's, there's no question about it. There's not much out there that can compete. There is another company um, that's just started getting into the residential uh, refrigeration built in like this. It's called True. True makes all the commercial refrigerators for the restaurants oh, really? and they started about the same time that Sub-Zero started back in the, the 40s and, and in Wisconsin too no less where they wow. yeah it was just crazy anyway they have some beautiful machines I've only worked on one uh, they're really well made and are they still made in Wisconsin? Yep. They're made in America. Something you don't see too often. Hopefully it'll be coming back. It'll come back. It's just a cycle. You know, right now, everybody's freaking out about the market, about the banks. Oh, I know. You know, when you... When you put two and two together, they pumped trillions of dollars into the economy during the, you know, for that stimulus money. Mm -hmm. That's going to raise inflation. Right. You I mean, not how could it that. not? Right. How could it not? I said that when it happened. I said, you know what, we're going to be going through some heavy inflation. Nobody believed me. 
or nobody listened to me because what do I know? I'm a refrigerator mechanic, <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, so let's uh, turn this baby on. Okay, temperature's dropping down. That's great. Good to go. Okay, we're all finished up with this job. Just want to dish out a couple of reminders here. Be very careful when you pull out those units on the condensers because you can break the lines. Obviously, that's what happened there. There's a little kink in that discharge line that went into the filter dryer and also uh, normally I would not do a seal system job without changing a dryer but I didn't have one and so if you, if you don't have if you're in a pickle and you don't have a dryer make sure you pull a vacuum after you check for leaks because air has moisture in it and the moisture is detrimental to a refrigeration system you can't have any moisture in there so by pulling a vacuum on it for about a half an hour a deep vacuum and you're going to vaporize whatever moisture is in there and it's going to pull it out and you'll be of a nice dry system so those are just a couple of reminders uh, like I said uh, normally I don't do that it's not the right way if you went to school you don't know you always change the dryer when you open up a system okay that's it for now uh we'll uh see you on the next run